are saying to people, okay, we is back once again with another video, and this time it is within temptation with the reckoning. This is featuring Jacoby Shaddock's official music video. It was a recommended video, so shout out to everybody sending through recommendations. If you've got a video that you want me to do a reaction to, or any types of videos that you want to see in the channel, then send it through. And I'll see what I can do. Like, share, subscribe because we're doing this tenure. Get my fan. But for now, Within Temptation. Now, what is Within Temptation? I think there's a lot of things that Within Temptation. You know, lots of things that you might be tempted to do. But just because you're tempted to do something, I don't mean you should do it. you got to remember that the devil is a lie. <laughs> but yeah, Within Temptation, The Reckoning featuring Jacoby Sh Shaddix. I don't believe I've heard of any of these musicians before. So this is all new to me. But yeah, check, check them out. See what they're about. Within temptation, the reckoning. <laughs> Directed by Noise. I mean, I'm guessing Noise is the name of the director. Like he is like a stage name. He calls himself Noise. I'm just saying that reads as directed by Noise, as in it was just Noise that set the direction of this video. That's how it reads. I'm pretty sure that's not what they mean. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's come back a little bit though, because um, that was uh, that was a bit noisy, wasn't it? So maybe um, is maybe maybe directed by noise was uh, uh, is 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 correct. So <laughs> let's uh, let's get this. Oh, you know, you come back a little bit, actually. Hmm, okay. All right, that was, um... The way that music was going, I was thinking, I was, I was getting my ears ready for, like, some grindcore, you know, like, Napalm Death. That's what I was getting my ears ready for. Not quite. Not quite, but all right. Killing the fathers, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel like they're talking about something, but in a metaphorical way. They're referring to something, perhaps something in a political manner. Well, um, hmm. No, I'll just hit it again actually real quick. Red tears. Oof. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm understanding this a little bit. Okay, we're about a minute fourteen seconds into this song. Let me let you know what I'm thinking so far and we'll see how the rest of the song plays out. But, you know, they were talking about killing the uh, fathers, killing the young. Um, they talk about don't close your eyes, it won't disappear, red uh, tears run like a river. So I feel like they're talking about like, you know, like invasions, like people being, um, what's the word, oppressed, you know, in, in, so in societies where people are just like being uh, tortured and things like that. Um, but, I mean, that's, I feel like that's the imagery they're conjuring up. But I get the impression, and I may be wrong on this, I get the impression that that's, although they're using that kind of imagery, it's a metaphor for something else. Like, not necessarily that specifically what is what they're talking about. I think it's using it as a metaphor for something that else is, for something else that's happening. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's see if we can figure out what the reckoning is. In fact, let's, let's see if I could uh, figure out what I reckon this is. <laughs> get ready. That was a good joke. <laughs> reckon, you know, I think it means think. No, I reckon this. Cause I reckon, reckoning. You know, I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> 
All right. So now they, um, yeah, it's about sort of standing up for your, uh, standing up against that sort of thing. So stand up against the oppression, I think. Okay. Let's kill it again. Don't be the reckoning. Okay. Don't back down. Hold the line. Oof. How are you going to get through those lasers? See that? Listen. You're going to need like Catherine Zeta Jones or something to get through those lasers. And if you know what I'm talking about when I say Catherine Zeta Jones to get through those lasers, put it in the comments because I made a reference to something. Big up to Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah, blood and tears a thousand times. So they've it's something I feel like they talk about something that's been going on for a while. You know, blood and tears, you know, the people have been fighting against it for a while. People have cried, people have died, people have cried over the uh, people have died, you know, uh, people have been hurt, injured, disappointed, uh, frustrated, you know, there's a lot that's been happening, um, but they're still standing against it. They feel it's that important they need to still stand against it. And I think when it comes to any kind of oppressive nature, you got to, you know, you gotta stand against it. Any kind of even if we're talking about say small scale um on a level on the or like a workplace, somebody being abusive at the workplace, it's still a form of oppression. You know, anytime you're in that situation, you gotta stand against it. And I know it's not an easy thing and depending on the situation it may be damn near impossible, but you gotta make some kind of stand against it or at least find some way to not be in that situation anymore. You know, so um, although they're creating this kind of imagery of a society, that's the first imagery that I'm getting from them. I feel like the metaphor could be applied to lots of different things and perhaps their metaphor is something in particular, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so this is, what's his name? Um, Jacoby Shaddix. All right, let's hear his voice. Let's hear him, let's hear what he has to say. Walking in twilight. Those books are trash. <laughs> they're not. They're not. I really like to. I like the movies too. Just don't tell anybody I said that. All right. Let me hear that again, real quick. Oh, I love it. Yeah, freedom is worth it all. Okay, yeah, that's, that's that whole thing, going against the oppression, going against the the oppressive nature. Okay, freedom is worth it all. You know, free, it, there's that saying, freedom isn't free. You know, freedom isn't free. And there's a song about it. it was in um, Team America. Uh, <laughs> was it Team America? Yeah, Team America. Freedom isn't free. As corny as that song was, it's true. Freedom isn't free. So um, you got to be prepared to fight for uh, your rights. You know and it's not going to be easy. It's not always going to be pretty, you know. You have to decide, is it worth it? And if the answer is yes, then, yeah, that's the path you've got to walk. Hmm. You know what, by the way, I'm, rec I'm thinking, like, I didn't actually check when this video was uh, made or uploaded or anything, but... I'm kind of guessing this is a quarantine video as well, though, because I've noticed that one, they're fairly distanced, or maybe about a meter apart. So she doesn't have a face mask on, but then I don't know, you can't really see from here. But yeah, the two other guys do, and then this Jacoby guy is not even in the video. So um, quarantine video, and if not, it could be. Okay, we're not quite a meter. Well, they, I guess they're a meter apart now, but, you know, they weren't. We're going to need Tom Cruise to shout at them for <laughs> not standing a meter apart. Or maybe Tom Cruise did shout at them and that's why they started running away. I don't know. <laughs> Let's come back. Oh, let's try and get a, uh. 
there we go trying to get this image okay just trying to look at the spaceship type thing for a second see what this is about got some laser looking thing or whatever was that a beam Could beam me up scotty i don't know i guess we'll see but uh, okay world of worlds maybe which was a tom cruise movie by the way so uh maybe he really did shout at them maybe Oh, let me hear that again real quick. Oof, okay. I see your face through the madness in the sand. Okay, so it was like the... I guess there's somebody in her, like, this somebody that she it's happened to. Um... It's like she's talking about someone she knows. I just had a bit of chemistry. Okay, yeah, I feel like in her case, she might be talking about somebody she knows that something that somebody else has happened to, and you know, through it all, she sees, sees a person's face. It's something that's the, that's the that's what she's holding on to that this person image and perhaps that's her driving force to keep going through the things that she's going through in order to uh you know get through this you know to be to be what she needs to be okay okay So, uh, yeah, it's coming all mellow now. So it's almost like, uh, oof, just coming, you know, when, you know, when things kind of get like, you, you still believe in what you believe in, but I don't know, maybe I'm looking too much into that. I just feel like the way the music changed, the way her voice changes, like you still believe the things that you believe in, but it gets tough sometimes and then it all kind of mellows down. So it's like, you're still holding on to that, uh, belief, even though it's tough, even though it's hard, even though it feels like sometimes it feels like there's no point, but you still got to hold on to that. And that's, I don't know. Maybe that's not what they meant by that. <laughs> that that sort of change in the music and a change in her in her singing tone. Maybe that's not what they meant by it. I'm saying that's what I got from that. Oh, now the drift. The drums come in. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, so, you know what? I feel like the music is telling the story in this as well, where. You get to that point where it's, it feels so hard, and you, you don't really feel like continuing, but you just hold on to that little shred of of faith, right? And then as as you hold on to that, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. I think that's the drum representing that getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, let's come back a little bit and hear that again. These two guys coming back now. Yeah. They were scared before they ran away, but now they're like, you know what? We don't even like Tom Cruise anyway. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's fight against this War of the Worlds thing. Because we don't even like that damn movie. <laughs> In fact, War of the Worlds was actually a film about um, aliens trying to take over. So, just saying, pretty decent reference, right? I mean... Assuming that's what they were, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's what they were referencing, but that's, you know, kind of, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, similarities, similarities. <laughs> okay. Oof, let me come back a little bit. I know it's ending, but let me just see this again real quick. crash it down yeah rise yes hmm you know what it's tough sometimes it's tough and sometimes it feels like it's fruitless and futile but you keep going man you keep going and 
Yeah, Ward was a pretty crap movie, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> it's not that good. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, maybe crap's a bit harsh. It's not it's not terrible it's just not really that good but the book uh, the the book that's based on by hg wells so that was the reckoning featuring jacoby shaddock's official music video by within temptation and you know what the reckoning i reckon that was pretty good <laughs> um, I like that actually. I really did. I like the music. I like the the progression of the music. I like the singing. I like how the prog progression of her, the the changing of her voice at various times as well, especially at the end when it kind of tones down and then comes back up again. Um, I like sort of the journey that it takes you on and various feelings that you go through when anytime you go up against something that's tough like that, you know, you're going to feel like it's not worth it at times. You're going to feel like, why am I even doing this? You're going to feel like this is pointless, this is futile. Let me just like give up and just, just live with it. You're going to feel like that sometimes, but you know, you just hold on to just that little bit of faith, that little bit of, you know, something that keeps you going and, you know, just keep, just keep holding on to that. And then, it all comes to fruition. Just when it feels like it's gonna completely fail, like there's no point, you just hold on to just a little bit and, and it comes to fruition. So yeah, big up to Within Temptation. I really like that song. I really like uh, what it did and what it talked about and how it talked about it. Cause uh, it's not easy. You know, these things aren't easy. It's not all a walk in the park. You know, it is tough. No matter what it is, whether you're talking large scale oppression, whether you're talking small scale oppression, it's never easy and it's never a nice thing to have to go through. But if you're going through it in any kind of form, you know, you just gotta know that you're not alone first and foremost you're not alone even though it might feel like you're alone you're not alone um it's it might feel like it's futile and pointless it's not you know you you got to stand up against these things you know and at the very least you got to find some way to make sure that you're okay you know what i mean because it's not it's not cool but um anyway <laughs> that's all i got from the reckoning but i reckon i would like to know what you got from the reckoning so let me know down below um if you got any more videos that you want me to do reactions to any types of videos you want to see in the channel send it through that's all i can do like share subscribe because we are doing this 10 year get me fam i've got more videos over there my other channels over there comedy channel movie slash video game channel check them out be much appreciated but that's gonna be it for the minute so guys until whenever if ever I reckon I'll be seeing you later. <laughs>